Number two, in terms of the kinetic molecular theory, in what ways are liquids similar to solids and in what ways are liquids different from solids? Okay, so I have a picture here of a crystalline solid. Crystalline just means that you're forming a crystal. So think of kind of like a uh, table salt, right? How that is in a crystal, it's like a white crystal component. Uh, but nonetheless, this is a solid. And these atoms are in a liquid form, so L. And as we can see here, the difference in the arrangement of the atoms is very different. Solids are more closely compacted, and liquids are more free to roam. This is because solids have a definite shape versus liquids have a uh, shape that will mold into the container. Now, these are not the properties that we're going to talk about in this video because we need to talk about it in terms of kinetic molecular theory. Now, for liquids and solids, when you're talking about the kinetic molecular theory, obviously we have to talk about kinetic energy. So that's one thing that we have to hit on. So kinetic molecular theory talks about kinetic energy. And also, it talks about intermolecular forces. Okay, so these are the two things that we're going to basically be talking about here. Now remember, kinetic energy, kinetics means that you're running, right, or walking, or moving. So kinetic energy is the energy of movement. So let's talk about that there. Now, in terms of a solid and a liquid, which atoms do you think are the ones that are moving more? Yeah, totally the liquids. You got it. The liquids have a much higher kinetic energy than solids. And the more kinetic energy they, that you have, the more movement, the more that these atoms are going to be moving all over the place. So that's one difference. So I'm going to put the difference down here. So a difference between liquids from solids is that liquids have a higher kinetic energy than solids. And because of that, they are able to move. Solids, on the other hand, basically have, you know, very, very low kinetic energy and they're not moving. There you go. Now let's talk about intermolecular forces. Now intermolecular forces, there are different types, which we will see as we move along in this chapter. Um, but intermolecular forces are basically talking about the forces of attraction between two atoms in a substance. So maybe it's between this atom and this atom. That's an intermolecular force, talking about the forces between those two atoms. And for the liquid, maybe it's these two, right? Now, in here, we do still see some atoms, like this, these two, and these two, and these two, that some of them are still basically stuck together, right? Over here, all of the atoms are stuck together. And... In terms of intermolecular forces, these forces are basically the force that brings together two atoms. Inter, you can think of it as international, right? International is different countries. So intermolecular forces have to be different atoms. You're not talking about the forces that are in one atom. You're talking about the forces between two different atoms. And since we do see that, I mean, in a liquid, you still have some of them that are very, very, very close together. And in terms of a solid, those atoms are very, very, very close together. So the similarity between them 
is that they both, so both the liquid and the solid, they both have intermolecular forces to keep, you know, to keep the atoms close. The more intermolecular forces that you have, the closer that, you know, the molecules are going to be. So you can say that the intermolecular forces are going to be greater for the solid because they're super, super close. Meanwhile, the kinetic energy is greater for the liquid. But they both have those intermolecular forces to keep those atoms close. But the only difference is that since liquids have a you know higher kinetic energy, they're able to move and solids are not. And that's the end for this one. What'd you think? I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Um, and let's just keep learning. Always keep learning and, you know, learning new things, learning chemistry. We also have physics and math videos on the channel. So check the channel out. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.